So, as if it wasn't clear enough from the hats, misks, skins, weapons, maps, unusual effects, taunts, bug testing, and paying its contributors, Valve has never been beyond letting the community do the work ourselves. I mean, why spend time and money trying to build new content for a game when you can let the people who play the game do it for you? Maybe in any other game I'd have a problem with that, but I seriously think that it's because of Team Fortress 2's community and it being so strong that it has survived as long as it has. I mean, good content comes from passion. That's something that we as a player base have a lot of. But aside from the general content of the game, there's one more thing Valve lets the community do that they really shouldn't. Teaching people how to actually play their game. As if the hundreds of tutorials and thousands of guides published to Steam weren't evidence enough, it shouldn't be a surprise that we're more than willing to help out confused players, myself included. Because let's face the facts, TF2's learning curve is a brick wall. And Valve knows this. They got halfway through teaching people the ropes of each class before they threw up their hands and said, Fuck it. Suffice to say, this doesn't work. So, in the attempt to make the community shoulder most of the work, they tried a new approach to teaching new players. Coaching. Now, tucked away in the bottom of the main menu is this shy little button here that nobody pays attention to. The coaching button. Back in the day, Valve had the idea to implement a mechanic that lets players already experienced with the game queue up and teach the newer players who are just now learning the ropes. This has been here a long time, since 2011 in fact, and it hardly gets as much as attention as it should. Anytime a fresh off the install player joins a game, they'll be prompted with a, well, a prompt, asking if they would like to have a coach join and teach them how to play. I mean, that sounds kind of awesome, right? Not only can a player get one-on-one -on -one lessons tailored to how they are playing and who they are playing, but they also learn how to deal with situations that they would already be in, regardless of how accurate you program your bots to fight. Which, personally, I think is a more efficient way to learn than the interactive PowerPoint tutorial they have set up. Or worse, just stumbling blindly through a match. Well, you know what? Sign me up. Let's teach some new players how to frag with the rest of us. <clears throat> oh, thank God, finally. Uh, okay, well, let's try again. All right, so as it turns out, this mechanic is more broken than a prom night condom. And I would like to thank Meet Your Match for that. It seems that the coaching button doesn't really play well with Casual's quote-unquote matchmaking coordinator. When you're in a game, there's this equally shy-looking whistle button at the bottom of the menu that lets you request a coach. And every time you click it and ask for someone to help you find your way through this miserable existence, you're told that there aren't any qualified coaches. <laughs> and the reason I know this is a load of high school paper bullshit is because I had four other people queued to coach someone just a test to see if it wasn't just the game thinking I'm a loser like the rest of the world. But nah, the coordinator looks at the people waving their hands in its face screaming pick me and goes... Okay, so unfortunately we won't be able to help anyone where they're requesting for it the most. Awesome. But, much like the McDonald's ice cream machine, it works at least some of the time. As it turns out, without matchmaking, it does indeed, I mean, barely function. Only in community servers, mind you, but it's something, I'll take it. After trying to connect with a player for an hour and a half, I finally got hooked up with somebody who needed help on their... What the fuck? So I got matched up with a person on an actual game mode, and it turned out to be pretty fun. For those of you who have never used the coaching mechanic before, it's not too bad of a design. You join the match as a spectator, and you are given some tools you can use with your mouse and keyboard to create waypoints and positioning suggestions that only your student can see. You can choose to spectate them in third person or in first person, and you're given a limited freedom in your movement as a spectator. There's even a rating system after the match where your student could rate you as a teacher. I mean, though it is pretty limited as it is, the coach is technically considered a spectator, so you can't talk to your student through voice chat unless all talk is on, and you can't even type a message to them without the whole server seeing it in chat, which is pretty annoying. So probably the fastest fix for now is to enable the coach and student to speak directly with each other easily through the text and voice chat. Being able to advise a player on what routes to take, what to attack, and where to go as they are playing in their regular games is extremely powerful. And I really think that a mechanic like this would be really helpful in introducing the kids whose modems are still hot from downloading the game into this 
otherwise merciless play space. Now this might have a bigger impact on a game like Counter-Strike, in which what you can do is pretty much limited to where you should move and where you should shoot. It would probably be perfect for that, in fact. But TF2 isn't Counter-Strike, for better or for worse, and unfortunately telling someone how they should play a class can't be communicated through your typical move here, shoot here instructions. TF2 is complicated, everyone has a different role, there are multiple ways to play each class, each with their different respective loadouts, and not for nothing, a new player without enough warning will be eaten alive by pub spies. But if we're seriously looking into making this work, I have a few suggestions that I think could take this to the next level. All right. What, what, yeah, what, what, what's up? What's happening? You remember my video, right? Kind of talked about the same thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So, like, halfway through me editing this video, I stumbled across Hamaji Neo's coaching video, which pretty much says exactly the same thing I do, and honestly, probably does a better job explaining the points we're trying to make. So, since I really want to bring more attention to coaching, and I was already this far into making the video, I'm not going to scrap it, I'm still posting this one. But please go watch his video if you want to learn more about it and see a slightly different perspective. Damn, I got distracted. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Now, there are three elements to the coaching system that we need to address. The first being the student. As much as I'd like to assume that new players are rational, eager to learn, willing to cooperate, they're not. Funny fact, not everyone likes to listen to what other people are telling them to do, and presenting the information they need in a way that won't make an edgy 12-year-old blow a V-Bucks flavored raspberry is something that you're gonna have to consider at the end of the day. The luxury guides and YouTube videos have is being able to establish credibility, and unless a student hears something like Dane's dulcet tenor in their ear, it's pretty unlikely they'll be taking the coach's advice. It's important to understand that this whole coaching business needs to be designed around the student, and because of that, this is the part of the system that we won't be able to change and just need to deal with. Which brings me to the next element, the tools. Because contrary to Valve's popular belief, you can't fix a leaky faucet by putting a hat on it. The best way to get a player to listen is to remove the idea that this is another person speaking to you. No thanks to a long line of suspiciously slow scouts, players tend to trust the mechanics and maps more than other people, and creating the illusion that this is the game talking to you instead of just another player is probably the best way to go about doing this. On top of that, it would simultaneously bypass any language barriers we have, since we would effectively be telling the game to tell the player what to do. That means you could take coaches from literally all around the world and they would still understand what's going on. For one, I don't think speaking directly should be totally necessary in the first place. It should be an option, but I feel a player learns more from visual cues than they do some teenager's nasally voice whining at them over the microphone. Instead, I think the spectator should be equipped with a more co-pilot role, similar to a driver's ed instructor in the passenger seat literally giving out pointers. Each class should have a series of options for actions depending on what the student is playing. Your typical move here and attack here commands would still be available, but you could switch to other class-specific prompts, such as build a teleporter here or place a sentry here, and the student would see a waypoint with maybe an outline of a sentry or whatever. It's not important. The same could be said for demo men and sticky traps, medics and uber charges, or even spies and timing. I mean, hell, there's already a spray mechanic the spectator could use to paint pre-selected arrows and indicators only the student could see and could direct the players with specific visual cues that are painted on walls and maybe I'm looking a little bit too deep into this. Uh, probably not the most optimal solution there, but y you guys get my point. If the tools for teaching are improved, I think it could be made a lot more fun. Which brings me to the third and final part, the coaches. Of course, you don't know for sure if any given coach actually knows what they're doing, which is an important thing to consider, trust me. But at the same time, most of the things new players need to learn are such basic behavioral habits and that are so primitive to the game any relevant advice would help a player learn. Having this sort of experience readily available can make the game a lot less intimidating, plus they can answer any questions that the new player has. I sincerely think there should be at least some quality control. Uh, maybe a minimum of hours played on each class to qualify you, or maybe a number of casual matches played, just something to separate people who know the game at least a little bit from the ones who don't. The last thing we want is some fresh install, how do I go prone, and the coach replying, I haven't figured that one out yet. 
I feel the rating system we have now will help a lot in maintaining a good roster of coaches. The only thing that could make it better is more detailed feedback. Maybe on the same level as the post-match rating system Valve also pays so much attention to. And maybe with a comment box as well. The problem then becomes, how do we evict the toxic and abusive coaches from the roster? Since Valve is the ultimate authority on this, and since they seem so hands-off TF2 as it is, I'm sure the best course of action is giving us the ability to flag a non-productive coach for removal. One other thing I will recommend, however, is that we remove the ability to select friends to coach you. That's gonna be beaten to a pulp if that's a thing. Coaches should always be randomly selected from the pool available. This is so people don't have a coach in their regular casual games and that coach is tagging spies and telling people where sentries are and looking around corners because they're technically qualified as a spectator. Because after all, the best medicine is preventative. Take it from the medic main. My second and admittedly least significant concern is having enough coaches to go around, especially since they're on a strictly voluntary basis. Personally, if coaching is done in a way that is a rewarding experience for the coach themselves, we won't have a problem filling up queues, especially since there's already an item in the game that tracks how many new players you've helped. Adding even a little bit to that, like the spirit of giving, would go a long way, and not only would it create a more diverse set of player interactions, but also give you something to do when you're bored of playing. The truth is, this is simply a response to Valve's lackluster treatment of new players, and once again, the community will have to do it for them. But if that's the case, the least they could do is give us the tools to get the job done right. Right now, coaches need to be able to speak one-on-one -on -one with their student, have more indicators that clearly and concisely demonstrate a class's role, and... I mean, just being able to coach people in casual in the first place would be really nice. Unfortunately, changes to the coaching system don't really seem to be on the plate at all for Valve at the moment, so the best we can do is pressure them into helping us help ourselves. I don't know, does that make sense? I mean, just making it work would already benefit the player base tremendously, and I believe 1000% that this would make learning how to play this game that's more conservative about itself than a Canadian nun so much easier. And it's not like the community isn't willing to help. I know I would, and I'm sure, I mean, given the right tools for it, many of you would too. I'm sure lots of you would love to have a chance to introduce new players to this environment that you enjoy playing in so much. Back when this mechanic was first released, it was so much fun to teach people how to play and teach them all these things that they otherwise would never have known without your help. Especially since that coaching prompt comes up to extremely new players, you can help them with literally any information you give them, and it makes the game a lot less punishing. The problem is, in order for the system to work, it has to, well, work. I mean, as of right now, it's plain busted, and the people requesting for coaches on community servers, it's such a low number, especially since joining a community server is nigh impossible to figure out as a fresh install. So being able to just connect with the people who need the help is the first hurdle. So please, let's start a discussion on how to be proactive in helping new players learn. Let's try and welcome the next generation of fraggers, laggers, and backstabbers as best we can to keep Team Fortress 2 alive and well for the foreseeable future. This video was not only brought to you by me, but by Edison. That 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 one this this one here if you're a student go to edison.com for hundreds of expert academic writers that stand ready to help you with any type of assignment from school paper or essay to dissertation get the right professional ghostwriter to help you write that a plus paper for you